Hello, my name is Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and today I'm out here in the rain, in the mud, actually testing out the Yesu FT3D. I'm giving it an outdoor test where it should be tested. Okay, so I'm out at the moment. It's raining. The temperature is temperature is quite mild. It's quite nice. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk. Uh, and the aim really is to test out the Yaesu um, FT3D radio. It's been out for a few months now. There, there's quite a few, there's quite a few reviews on YouTube of people, you know, just got the radio out the box, you know, very, very nice, very clean, very clinical. But actually, it's, it's an outdoor radio. It's actually got a, um, it's got a casing that is waterproof. The IPX5 um, waterproof level, so it's, it's actually made for going outdoors with. So I'm actually going to do a review of it, but actually look at the outdoor features. Um, so there's plenty of videos on on YouTube that talk about the specifications. Um, you know, five watts radio, uh, twin receive. Um, you know, there's lots of great stuff out there. I'll put some links to some further information about the specs. But today, I'm mostly just going to just test out the APRS function, the GPS, the um, the bat track function, which is a you can mark a location and find your way back to that location. I'm also going to test out the radio features as well, try and make some contacts, and also the radio's got a touchscreen as well. So I wanted just to test out the touchscreen out in the rain, um, you know, just see how well it how well it works. So, yeah, this is an outdoor review of the FT3D. Start heading up there now, I think. Should be able to get to uh, a bit more of a takeoff for the radio. Right, I've switched to the, um, the action camera. So I do apologise if the sound gets a bit, a bit whistly. Right, so I'm just going to go for a walk. It's uh, very muddy out here, um, drizzly, not raining that heavily, but uh, it'll give a good test of the radio anyway. So already we're picking up uh, some stations, even though we're actually lower down. I'm going to head around and I'll get a bit more height in a few minutes. So I'm going to head around the corner and I should get a bit more height. And I should be able to test out some APRS. Not quite um, high enough at this moment. Uh, I've also pre-programmed and some local repeaters. I think a lot of the uh, because the, the menu is touchscreen driven, um, <clears throat> it makes sense to do a lot of the uh, pre-programming in back at home, back at base. Because once you're out here, you don't want to be fiddling about with the menu on this screen. It's only a was that an inch and a half screen? A, uh, I'll say about 30 mil by 45 mil screen. So you don't want to be trying to uh, dive into a a menu on a screen like that in this sort of weather. I mean, my hands are a little bit chilly at the moment, so it'd be like it'd be like trying to operate it using sausages. Right. So I quite like I've always liked the. Um, the lock feature on these. Very simple to uh, lock the screen up. I have not heard much in the way from um, APRS at the moment. Um, bring that volume up. The squelch is quite easy to use on here. You tap that, that changes it to squelch mode. And I can bring the squelch down or bring it back up. Take it out of squelch mode and it just goes back to volume mode. So. Being able to uh, adjust the squelch channel, A and B change is very easy. Um, you can, of course, you can actually move your channels 
using the, uh, the step change there, that's quite easy. So a lot of the main features are available as you need them. Uh, you know, then, but when we go into this sort of menu driven, this is where it starts getting a bit tricky with my uh, fat fingers. So uh, I, I'd like to avoid any of that while I'm out and about. A lot of this needs to be pre-programmed. Um, and then I've got a one or two um, uh, repeaters on my hotspot already uh, pre-programmed in there. So I'll come out of that into uh, manual mode. So pretty decent. Um, let's switch over to that. Let's get my display up. So on this screen we can see the actual um, satellite connections we've got. We have decent connection, it gives us our altitude and our location as well. So we're 211 meters. Let's just come out of that. Uh, we're 211 meters, but I know we can get to about 250, so that's where we're heading to now, just try and get a bit more a bit more height. Right, so I've just stay uh, on these Yesu radios, you can um set what's called a backtrack function which is where you can mark a location so I've marked where I've parked the car and it marks it on the GPS put a GPS mark there and then you can go off walking and then you can use that function to find your way back to that that point and on these Yesu radios it gives you two you can mark two places so one place I've marked is my home location and the second is here. So in a bit I should be able to look at the GPS map or the GPS screen on the, on the radio and find the distance between where we are now and where those locations are. So we'll have a little walk around anyway. We'll do a circular walk, maybe about two or three miles really. Nothing much but... Uh, it should give us a chance to get a bit higher up and hopefully make a contact on the radio <clears throat> in memory of Tony Statham well thank you fella well I hope that when I get to the uh, the highest bit, I can uh, get a contact in and uh, get some sort of APRS activity. But I'm sure, I'm sure we'll make contact. It's a Saturday, so people are, should be around near their radios. I know England lost against the World Cup, so I mustn't mention rugby on any of my conversations today on the radio. Don't mention the rugby, don't mention Springboks. World Cup, just get it out of your system. World Cup, rugby, don't mention it. Right, there's a bench. QSQ, this is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Mobile. 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Mobile. Call this is Q, this is 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Mobile. 2 Echo, 0 Echo, Zulu Tango Mobile. Call this is standing by. I might have a walk round to see if you can get an extra couple of metres height, see if that makes a difference. This might be just an unlucky place. Oh, this is fiddly. Into that. Um, S list. Okay, so I've not got any stations yet. I'm not decoding anything. That's quite fiddly getting to that. How do I do that then? I go to F N W and then um, S list, nothing there, okay. Um, so FNW beacon, so that'll beacon. Right, so we can do it one handed, okay. So we'll go that, send out beacon, beacon's gone. I'm going to go and have a walk over there where it's a little bit higher and see if that makes a difference. This is 2 Echo 0 Echo Zulu Tango Mobile listening through. A 
Okay, we're back into a, a familiar place. I bet you, uh, you guys feel at home now. So we're at the trig point, I think the trig point pretty much tells us that we're at uh, one of the highest spots we can get around here. So I'm just going to try from here, see if I can make a <coughs> simplex contact and see if we can get any APRS activity as well. Secure, 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 secure. This is 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. Call it secure, standing by. Secure, secure, secure. This is 2 Echo 0. I've come to another. I've walked a bit further around. Still no contacts yet. Uh, there's the most bike going around there now. Um, we're 245 meters up. So we're climbing from 211 to 243 to 245. Um, to be honest, there's not much on the bands anyway today. Normally, from here, this is my testing ground for radio. I would normally pick up some stations, I think I picked up one so far so the radio is actually quieter than it, it would normally be Secure, 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 secure This is 2 Echo 0 Echo Zulu Tango Mobile 2 Echo 0 Echo Zulu Tango Mobile Calling from High Ground in Stoke-on-Trent High Ground in Stoke-on-Trent calling secure, standing by However, normally I would get within a within a half a dozen CQ calls, I would get an answer back. I don't think it's a radio. I don't think it's actually a problem with the radio. It's just that today there isn't much activity on the band of all days. I'm going to keep going anyway. Yeah, Golf One Papel Hotel November. Should we try four five zero? Four five zero. Papel Hotel November. Yeah, is this frequency in use? This is two E zero E Z T. Yeah, Golf One Papel Hotel November. This is two E zero E Z T. Yeah, the name is Carl. I'm not sure if we've spoken before. I'm uh, currently uh, working off a handheld in high ground of Stoke on Trent. Okay, Carl, I think we've uh, spoken before. My name is Nick, I've been short for Michael. And I'm also on high ground in South Trotty and on the Clear Hills. Oh, Clear Hills? <laughs> yeah, all copied there, uh, Mike. Uh, yes, I was at the Clear Hills a few weeks ago um, with a, another couple of chaps running a, uh, a 80 metre and a 2 metre station. Uh, for fun, we had a great time up there. I'm currently at a place called Park Hall, Park Hall Country Park in the Stoke on Trent. So it's only 245 meters uh, height, but uh, I'm testing out a new radio at a Yesu FT3D. So I'm just testing out the radio, and you're my first contact on the radio. Uh, back to you, Yesu FT3D. Uh, so you're coming through, uh, and there's a little bit of noise behind you. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure how well this radio receives against my other handhelds, but uh, I've, I'm glad that you've come back to my CQ call. I was slightly losing a little bit of hope. Just a quote, just wanted to butt in, give you a report. You're five and three on your handheld, uh, just outside Ashby de la Zouch, uh, five and three. That's all I wanted to, to, to say, just to give you a bit of insight of where you're getting to. From M0, JDK. Yeah, M0 JDK. Cheers, buddy. Uh, good to hear. And <clears throat> I'm just recording this on video, and I'll uh, upload this during the week onto my YouTube channel. So um, if you want to hear your um, your your uh, you know your QSO call uh, playback, I'll edit some of it into the video. So th thanks for that. Uh, you're you, you're about a five four five five here on this handheld. Yeah, thanks for the five and four. I'm only running ten watts. It's an old. Uh, uh, it's an old. Um what is it? <laughs> old, I can't remember. It's a Kenwood TS711E. It's an old TS711E running about 10 watts. I won't interrupt your conversation. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of your call sign and I'll have a look at your YouTube videos when they, when they pop up. Uh, yes. Right. <clears throat> so I've managed to get a couple of contacts in, a couple of reports. 
the the receive quality the actual audio quality I've got no problem with I know that some people have mentioned that it's quite tinny <clears throat> but uh, when I when you're out here um, you want something that you, you you know you can you can pick out with some clarity and I think that's that was clear enough for me G zero HCT Golf six Delta Delta. Uh, I've not had much joy with the APRS. I've been sending out some some beacons, but I've not received anything um, on the APRS. Um, I can usually hit a, a an eye gate or repeat it from here, but I don't seem to be getting that at the moment. It might be that that station is just offline for the moment, rather than it's the radio but I'm not receiving much in the way of any APRS, APRS activity. So I need to check the APRS settings as well in case I've messed up on that. Right, okay, so um, final thoughts. Well, I'm glad I got a contact. That's my th final thought. So I, I thought at first that the touchscreen, I wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy the touchscreen, however, um, I was able to operate the APRS functions, which you have to use a touchscreen on to get to send out a beacon, or well, to manually send out a beacon and to see your station list and your message list. But I managed to get to that quite easy, but I'm not quite sure with gloves on whether I would actually have the accuracy that is needed to work for such a small screen. Um, it's, it's got soaked on the way around with Napsin no problem. There's no steam behind the actual screen so I've not had any problems with any um, steam building up inside the radio um, the, the, the the actual visibility of the screen is pretty good even though the conditions when the sun does break out through the clouds and hits the screen you can still work out the, um, the visuals on it so there's no problem with that um, the sound quality I've got no issue with that either um, I have confidence that the radio um, would would survive, you know, a fair bit of a knock and a fair bit of water. Got no problem with that. So really, it's it's for me, it's a good replacement for the FT1 that I've got. And the YZX, it's not something I would use that often, but just to have the ability to plug it in direct to a computer. So let's say if I was going working away in a hotel and I wanted to just do do some sort of radio or some sort of contact I would plug the wires X in so that's not a problem APRS I can't give a review on that really because I've not actually had any um, APRS activity and that's something I need to check out um, but if it follows the FT1's um, design uh, the APRS is is bearable you know it, it's you know I can survive with it but I've got a Camwood. I've got a THD 74 so for me if I was going to do APRS I'd use the Camwood and plug it in and use Bluetooth over to a computer and also talking about Bluetooth this radio does do Bluetooth I've got a Bluetooth headset for it I've not tested that out I haven't need to today but I will be testing that out uh, using the Vox on it which is quite a novel idea um, so all in all I think it's a great radio I think it's a good outdoor radio it's a, a good one to actually take out in adverse conditions so I've got you know I've got confidence in this one you know the GPS hasn't lost any um, any data it hasn't lost any connection so the GPS is super fast on this one it really connects up really quickly so yeah good radio um, it's not a radio really that should be leaving and doing videos of indoors. If you're going, if you're going to do a video of this sort of radio, you need to take it out, out here and into the uh, into the fresh air. So I hope you found that video useful. Uh, if you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed, can you subscribe? Because that really helps me to get an idea of if I'm doing the right sort of content for people. You know, it's really good to see the subscriptions going up. And please leave comments in if you've got a radio like this or if you, if you prefer a different type of radio, leave uh, a comment in. Uh, that would be really, really useful and uh, look forward to the next video. So uh, from me and the radio, bye bye for now.